everyone, it's Darcy at my3boybarians.com and I'm here with a hopefully super quick tutorial about batch editing using Adobe Camera Raw or ACR um, before pulling it into Photoshop. So I have, um, I'm in Bridge right now. This is um, Bridge CS5 and I have these 12 images of a super cute um, 18 month old baby girl and I wanted to show you how quickly you can batch edit those so um, by selecting an image scrolling down hitting shift and select selecting the last image uh, you can select all of these images all at once oops I think we left out the first couple there we go so now we have all 12 images selected and these are raw files so if we right click on any one of them we can click open in camera raw and this will open up the Adobe dialog box for us and the first thing that we notice is right here along the left hand side um, all 12 of our images are here and some of them are in the same light and some of them um, are posed just a little bit differently uh, and these four here she's framed between a tree she's playing peekaboo uh, and these last three here, she's got the bright yellow behind her, and she's blowing kisses. Um, and then these first five or six, she's just sort of wandering um, a little bit more open so it's brighter. So there's a couple different ways that you can batch process. You can click Select All, which will highlight every single one of the 12 images here along the side. And when you do that, any adjustment that you make to one, you will make adjustments to all. So if I take the exposure over here, which is at zero and I slide it down a two and a half stops all of those exposure slides look at that all the way down on all of those images become two and a half stops under um, I'm going to zero that back out um, likewise if I were to take the temperature here um, and I were um, going to make it bluer let's say we wanted a, a, a cyan wash over this if I slide this down to 3650, then every single one of these images um, will then become um, 3650. So when I go through these images like that, it will change all of these. So um, let's bring that back up because she's looking a little blue down there. Um, there. Um, so that's the quickest way to batch edit here. Um, if you choose all of them, it will affect every single one of those images. If you only choose one of them, like this one that I that I brought back, um, it, it will only affect one image. If I wanted to then, since I've just chosen one, I could hit uh, hold the command or control button and click select all. This one keeps a bright blue um, highlight box around it while the other ones just turn white and that indicates that this is the one that's setting the tone that changes here um, on the blue so if I go ahead and click synchronize it will bring up all of the different options that I can choose to sync white balance exposure recovery fillets these are all the sliders here when I click OK all of the rest of these images will be brought back up to the settings that I have with this one um, Likewise, if you only wanted, let's say we wanted um, these ones down here, these three, at a different um, exposure. Say um, we wanted these maybe a little bit brighter, while the others we didn't want. You could select just these three and bump the exposure up um, just a hair, and it will affect just those. And then you could go in and grab these first few images here and you can bring the exposure down. By making these quick edits you can you can fly through galleries um, and do your clean edits that is color and exposure and make sure those are right um, for the whole gallery and, and just moments and that will once you've corrected the color and the exposure um, maybe fix some horizons done any cropping that you think that you're going to need to do that will allow you to better choose which ones you want to present in your client's gallery when you have a better idea what it's going to look like. So um, once you've chosen those images, you can 
select them all, go ahead and click save and a dialog box will pop up for you so you can decide where you want to save these and you can save them as PSDs um, or you can save them as JPEGs, however you work. And for a lot of images, this may be all of the editing that you need. Uh, but if not, you can go ahead and click open images right here and it will bring all of these images into Photoshop for you uh, so that you can start working on them. Uh, and that's it. It's very, very simple. That's how you batch edit uh, using Adobe Camera Raw. Thanks for stopping by.